Hey there YouTube, it is Sunday, May the 10th, France Hopper here, and today we are at the Schuylkill Banks Park, just across the way from the Art Museum, which is there. Got some uh, geese over here that are uh, been squawking around, but uh, I've been living in Philly for two years now, this is actually the first time I've come down here. So we're going to walk this up to about uh, 30th Street Station. Here we go. So of course that is the Schuylkill there. Way in the distance is part of Drexel. The uh, tall one sticking up there, that's Millennium. To its right is Van R. And you can just make out over there, I believe that's uh, Towers, possibly Kelly. And it looks like that would be the Ray Street residences. Over here, through this tree, is University Crossings. And of course, as we started with, Center City, Philadelphia. And out there, where the traffic is, is the Schuylkill Expressway, or I-76. come around uh, here, in addition to seeing the banks, that tall, glass, funky building there, that is the Sierra Center, down to its left, that's 30th Street Station down there. And in the far distance, over there, that crane is uh, being used by Drexel, that's building the Chestnut Street Project, and I think I think over there might be the LeBeau crane, or that might just be some lights you can't actually tell from this distance. So it looks like we've got some little stairs down here. Let's take a walk closer down to the banks. The path we were on, that's the uh, bicycle trail. This looks like it might be more of a pedestrian trail. And again, gives us a nicer look at uh, a Schuylkill. With some nice plants. Looks like uh, this is a water drain. So back that way would be uh, the Fairmount Waterworks. Got a couple of pictures around there. Very nice uh, area. As for why I'm out here today, well, it's 85 degrees, pretty sunny, and uh, I've been working on final projects for the past two weeks. So this is the first time I've actually gotten a chance to go out and uh, walk around. So I decided, all right, that's it. I'm taking it easy today. I'm just going for a walk around the city. Because, you know, as I said, I've lived here for two years now, but this is the first time I've been here in the banks. There are plenty of places here in the city that I still haven't explored. So, as for uh, what buildings you can see from down here, let me actually show you uh, one of the more iconic ones first. That, in the distance, with the scrolling uh, letters, as you may be able to tell, actually, good timing, that is the uh, Pico building, that's the electric company. Over there, the tallest building in the city is the Comcast Center. As you can see, there are plenty of uprooted trees around here. There was a path further back that was actually blocked off by a uh, downed tree, which was too bad. You could go out to a little ledge and look around a little bit, but you couldn't go past it very much. No idea what that is sticking up there. But uh, now you can get a little bit uh, better view of it. There again is 30th Street Station. 
which of course is owned by Amtrak, but does also have SEPTA and New Jersey Transit service as well. That's the station I go out of when I go home, just take Amtrak on it since it's the easiest. And it looks like we're going to connect back up with the bike paths down here. This should be uh, the Schuylkill Banks coming up. Although really everything just kind of mashes together into Fairmount Park, which is a very big park. That's interesting. Looks like we've got a piece of tile stuck on down here. I think someone may have put that on there because it doesn't entirely look like that it came with that. But you never know. One of the nice things about nature is nature has its ways. So here we are connecting back up with the bike path again now. So it looks like at one point there may have been a bridge or something there. Don't know what that's left over from. If I can get this in frame, so you can actually see the Amtrak logo now. There we go. And poking out, if I can find it on the camera. There we go. Way out there in the distance, that's Millennium Hall from Drexel, that's our tallest building on campus right now. So it looks like at some point this was indeed a bridge to something. This is a Norfolk uh, Southern owns this line. That's a freight line down there. Looks like uh, there are plenty of birds here because I think I've stepped in more than a few pieces of poo already. Looks like it was uh, made. I'm not sure what this is. It might have been a teepee or something. But I don't think it was there originally. So it looks like if you're a real fan, uh, down here would be a pretty good place. Granted, again, this is a freight line. leaving. So give you a look at the highway here. I don't know if that'll actually show up with how red it is, but uh, this bridge over here, here is I-676. Another SEPTA, regional rail coming in. And again, there's 30th. And a sign for 676. Some 
signal equipment over here. So now you can very much see 30th Street Station, as well as the Sierra Center. There's more of I-676 there, some more signs. So one of the things that's neat about uh, the Sierra Center is uh, at night that actually lights up. There's uh, LEDs where all the uh, windows are connected up together and they uh, do change color. So the Pico building, as you can uh, see, has a set of, uh, I believe they're LED panels up there as well. And they basically just uh, scroll different ads through. At, uh, it's pretty much always on every now and then you'll see it turned off for whatever reason. This is uh, interesting. If you want to cross over to Ray Street, you can do so there. Looks like it does have a gate that locks if a train's coming, which is, of course, smart. It looks like we have a little scenic overlook over here. So let's take a look at uh, what's down here. So you can pause if you want to read that. Let's give you a little panorama here. So. Again, way out there is the art 
и зовем. And of course there is the Comcast Center. Uh, that is the Horizon Blue Cross building. I believe those are one and two in the center. Uh, out in the distance, let me actually zoom in on that so it's easier to point out. That's one of the Liberty Place towers. Let's keep going. Doesn't look like it was going. You can see it from here, but way out there, past uh, those bridges, is the waterworks. It looks like you can't see it right now. So here we are coming up on a couple of bridges. This, of course, as you can tell by the trees going over, is a septa bridge. Uh, the next one. Um, I think is Race, and further back, the third one, that's the bridge for Market Street, and the fourth one, the green one, behind the stone, I believe is Walnut. And this bridge that uh, we're about to go under now is the Septa Bridge. You know what? Let's take it down this way. Off of the uh, path. Although it looks like uh, someone made live down here. So uh, as you can see, there are some uh, lights down there. So we'll not go down that way. So again, this building here is still the Pico building. It's very hard to miss from very uh, much of Philly. Probably that building and the Comcast Center are the two most well-known. So it looks like this was the JFK Boulevard Bridge. There is 30th Street Station again. You can see the lights are actually on for the Septa Bridge here. So, I'm not sure when those click on, but apparently they're on now. Would not be surprised if they're always on. So, since we are coming up on 30th, we'll be ending soon. There's the uh, stairs up. But uh, there's uh, another set of stairs on the other side. There, I believe, is the IRS, actually. And shameless plug. Since I do love the 16x zoom on the H90. 
Strixland. Yeah, if you didn't know, uh, we do now own the Academy of Natural Sciences here in Philly. It's now the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University, which is great if you're a Drexel student because you can now get in for free. Just show your dragon card. Here's another sign. Pause if you want to read it. So apparently, not only is this the Schuylkill Banks, we're on the historic trail. And here is another sign. Again, pause to read. I love that there is a speed limit down here. So this, again, is the Market Street Bridge, which also has lights on it. Let's actually come down here. She does have some nice little figureheads on it. Some room over there. Back there. An old lantern down there. Okay. Looks like I'm getting quite a tan, but oh well, worth it. This building over here, I believe, is the Marketplace Design Center. I'm not actually sure what's in there, but uh, it's there. Mm -hmm. So, well, those are these stairs we're going to go up. Oh, hold on. All right. As I was talking about before with rail fanning, there you go. How about that, huh? I was definitely not expecting that to come. Let's actually go up on the stairs now and get a little better view of it. Actually, I'm surprised at how fast he's booking it. Usually these are going a lot slower. So let's go up. <laughs> I think this is going to run for quite a while. Well, actually, we might be coming up on the end here. Oh no, this has got ways to go. So you know what, I'm actually going to pause because I'm about to run out of uh, memory on this take. So I'll actually go ahead and start up again because I think we've got a good uh, good train here. Be right back. Alright, we're back. So that's really all that uh, we've missed.
comes the end, it smells quite a bit like burning metal right now. Ooh, that's wobbling a fair bit. So how about that, huh? As I was saying, you never know uh, when one will pass you right by. Great stop. <laughs> Alright, so we'll actually go ahead and head up the ramp here. Hook up to uh, Chestnut, which is this right here. I'll get you a look down the river, and then I think that'll be about all that'll film, because It'll just be me walking back to the dorm after this, which is a rather boring walk. So again, Marketplace Design Center, the uh, 2400 building, whatever that is. So the next bridge, the one in the distance, that one's Walnut Street. So again, Marketplace Design Center, Pico Building, 30th Street, Sierra Center, IRS. That's all you pen back there. And if we step up a little closer here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, with the sun, because I can't see it on the screen. There you go, Drexel Bridge. So there you go. There are there is Schuylkill River.